So we are back with another episode of the top Android apps. And somehow, some way, we're already within touching distance of the end of the year. But a new month means a brand new set of 10 applications. So with that said, let's jump straight in. If you're ready to take your phone calls to the next level and make them completely your own, then you'll definitely want to check out today's video sponsor, Call App. So Call App is a free caller ID and call blocking application that has gone above and beyond in terms of the amount of features it's squeezed into one app. One of the best is the personalized call screens. And this is a feature that lets you customize your call screen with a video of your choice. So you can upload literally any memory or special moment that you want. This means you get to relive it each and every time you receive a call. You can also customize your keypad and there's even a brand new feature that uses an algorithm to create personalized missed call reminders for the contacts that are most important to you. There are so many other features that I haven't even touched on, including spam call blocking, reverse number lookup, automatic call recording, plus the list goes on and on so make sure you check it out using the first link down in the description below. Photoshop has long been the staple in graphics editing for over two decades and things have been a little bit slow on the mobile application front for a while but slowly and surely the Photoshop Express app has been updated to a point where it can now really make creating unique and visually brilliant graphics directly on your smartphone super fast and easy. So you have all the standard photo editing features in terms of preset filters and quick adjustment sliders to enhance your photos, but then it's features like overlaying light leaks and raindrops as well as bokeh balls and watercolor elements that really take Photoshop Express to another level altogether. You also have a bunch of high quality text presets that are easy to customize and all of this makes for a super unique photo editing application that can result in some super nice looking graphical images. I think we can all agree and say that time management is an area that we can all probably improve in. And so an app that can definitely assist in this regard is Toma To Do. Despite the odd name, the app is essentially a to-do list application, but then it incorporates a range of additional features that are designed to make sure you stay productive. So once you add a new to-do list item, you can then tell the app how long you want it to allow you to finish that goal. Once you're ready to start working on the task, you then tap start and the app will trigger a timer as well as some ambient sounds if you want it to, all of which will help you to finish that goal in your predetermined time allocation. You can also enable a strict mode, which will basically lock your phone and prevent you from using other apps whilst the timer is running. So if you're in desperate need of upping your productivity, then this app is definitely for you. For the longest time, rooting your Android device has been really the only way to take more control over your smartphone experience. But every now and then, an app comes along that offers some of those root features without actually requiring root access. Enter Commentin. Again, another odd name, but this app is super fascinating. You basically get access to a range of different modules, all of which will alter your smartphone's experience in one way or another. The app is very young in its development at this stage, but so far we have access to eight different modules, some of which include hiding heads up notifications, remapping the assistant gesture on your phone to perform a range of different actions, setting a lower minimum brightness for your phone's display, as well as a few others. And as time goes on, the app will only add more and more modules. So it's definitely worth worth a look. With the launch of Android 10, the volume slider menu has definitely been improved, but if you're looking for even more control over its functionality, then the very appropriately named volume panel is definitely worth a shout. So straight out of the box, the new volume menu will present you with all of your volume sliders when triggered, which makes it far easier and quicker to access the volume setting you want straight away. What's even better is that there's heaps of customizations available within the app itself, including color theming, positioning options, and even an option to invert the volume buttons. Lots of flexibility, definitely a super useful app. One of the best new features of Android 10 though is the system-wide dark theme. And for those looking to automate the process, then you may just wanna consider using the aptly named automatic dark theme. First things first, this app does require permissions to be granted via ADB, so you will need access to a computer. But once you've done so, you can basically tell the app to trigger the dark theme depending on either the time of day, the ambient lighting, or whether the sun has risen or set. You can also choose for the switch to only be applied when the phone is locked, and you can also select a light and dark wallpaper for each theme, and then the app will dynamically switch the wallpaper for you when the dark theme is enabled or disabled. So now that so many phones have introduced full screen gestures, that little handy rotation lock feature that was introduced with Android 9 Pie can sometimes be hidden or unavailable altogether depending on the device you use. If that's you and you wanna bring it back, then use rotation lock bubble. 
So as the name would suggest, this app places a little rotation overlay toggle on your display when it senses that the phone has been rotated and when tapped, the phone will switch your display's orientation and lock it that way. There are some handy customization settings available within the app itself as well. So it's definitely a super useful application. QuickTimer is a super interesting take on an otherwise fairly simple feature that we've all no doubt used regularly on our phones, which is setting timers. So rather than manually inputting a custom timer for every instance that you want to time something, QuickTimer offers a range of useful preset timers that are all based on predetermined actions. So if you want to cook an egg a certain way, there's a timer for it. Not sure how long to cook your rice for, again, a timer for it, and so on and so forth. You can also add preset timers into the collection if you have your own custom actions or routines that you require a timer for. Plus there's an inbuilt dark theme, which is always very much appreciated. Up until now, I haven't been all too great at keeping my email inboxes that organized. And as a result, there are so many old emails just filling up my inbox. And so Clean Email is an app that I am super, super grateful for. Once you load your email into this app, it will then scan your entire inbox and present you with a range of options that will help clean it up entirely. You can batch remove marketing and newsletter emails. You can remove social media notifications or emails older than four years. Plus there are other options as well. And using just this option alone would delete for me over 7,000 unwanted emails. You can also upgrade to a premium account, which will enable the auto clean and smart unsubscriber features. Although keep in mind that the app uses a subscription based model rather than one off cost. And finally, when it comes to video editing on Android devices, there are so many options available on the Google Play Store, which makes it really hard to decide which one to use. But if you're looking for a fast and reliable option for quick edits, then B Cut may be the one to go for. So as mentioned, the best part about this app is how fast it seems to handle the video editing process. It's really smooth, exports happen at a quick pace, and that makes it a really viable option for those wanting to power through quick edits with little hassle. That said, the app is also fairly feature packed, so you can choose from a range of aspect ratios, you can insert music, and you can even apply a decent range of filters and transitions to make your edits even more unique. But aside from that, that's it. As always, every application you've seen in today's video has been linked down in the notes below. And if you're feeling like you need more app recommendations in your life, then definitely make sure you check out all of my past top apps videos by clicking the playlist linked here. If you don't already know, I release a new episode of the top Android apps at the start of every single month. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, maybe consider hitting subscribe. And while you're at it, that little notification bell icon as well, so you don't miss an episode when it's released. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.